Um, there are studies looking at intensity with respect to dementia risk, cognitive, mm-hmm. you know, impairment. You know, you'll find all sorts of things, but lit- like I think the most common thing that is is pretty thematic is that the more um, effort you put in, the more time you put in, uh, the the bigger the uh, the benefit with respect to cog- cognitive health. So dementia risk, and also it depends on how it's. I'll give you an example. There was a, a longitudinal study where women, who women, by the way, as you know, are, I think, proximately at a twofold higher risk for Alzheimer's disease than That's men. right. Super, yeah. super interesting. But um, so this was in women, and they were studied for you know decades, and I think it was like starting from like the seventies up until like. 2010 or something and they came in um for a physical like they were like they were put on a bike exercise bike and their like fitness was measured like it was like empirical data okay and this was like i don't know five to seven times so like over the you know course of you know it was like 40 years or something yeah. yeah exactly something like that um and and the and the women that you know were the most fit by their measurements on the you know this like cycle test they did yeah it was probably VO two max VO two max and and I think yeah so it was cardiorespiratory fitness that's right and then um those those women that were the most fit had like a like they were like the reduction in um like Alzheimer's like risk was like so robust I think there was something like um. Like they were nine times less likely to get or something crazy like that. Uh, the the ones that were moderate, like so they had like a moderate cardiorespiratory fitness, they were like f- four or five times, you know, uh, like they had a four or five fold reduction. But then you'll like look at another perspective study. Same deal where they come, like they they um, they don't come in to get anything measured, but they come in for a questionnaire or they get they get a questionnaire every, you know, what, whatever it was over the course of like 40, 40 or 50 years or something. And and this is like there's it's, they answer all these questions like oh how often do you jog or bike or do you play tennis or whatever, and you look at that study and there's like no association between <laughs> between physical activity and dementia risk, and I'm like hmm like that's interesting because this other study where they're actually measuring something showed a robust reduction uh, in dementia risk, uh, and so I th- again it go it hits home this like okay. What study are we looking at? Like yeah. question, you'll find questionnaire studies that also show, you know, a benefit, like, you know, people that are physically fit and the more fit they are, there's like a linear dose response effect, right? Where you see, you know, people that put in more effort, they're training for a longer period of time and they're, um, you know, doing it at more vigorous, more vigorous or more volume, both, right? Like they have the, the greatest benefit with respect to dementia risk, it, which isn't so surprising to me. Yeah, th- but this, the studies that are unambiguous, as you said, are the ones that actually measure VO2 max because there's no denying what you're measuring. It's a very objective measurement and it basically takes out the training component because it captures that benefit. It's the readout state of the training. And it basically says, look, maybe it doesn't matter if you do five high intensity workouts a week or two high intensity, five low intensity. Like what matters maybe more is the output. I, I don't know if that's the case, but but there's no denying that people who have a high VO2 max are doing something that people who have a low VO2 max are not. And that's what's exactly. being captured in those studies. And you know, the, the numbers are astronomical. Uh, you know, I, I won't go into them again because people on this podcast have heard it too many times because I, I can't <laughs> I can't stop talking about the the benefits of having a high VO two max. Um, but I want to touch on something else you just said a second ago, which is you you noted that that women are indeed at twice the risk of Alzheimer's disease to men. Um, of course, Parkinson's flips that. Men are at higher risk. But focusing on Alzheimer's disease for a second, is there any evidence? that there are gender differences in response to exercise. In other words, are women more responsive to the benefits or uh, more amenable to the benefits of exercise than men because they are at a higher risk genetically? Um, it's, it's, I, do, I haven't seen the studies looking at the response to exercise with respect to um, you know, the sex differences, but like, as you mentioned, like there's definitely differences with respect to their, you know, Alzheimer's disease risk. Um, so, and I, I do know, like there are, 
there are um, different mechanisms that could, you know, like, so women have different, like there's different metabolic responses to exercise maybe also, uh, you know, hormonally different. I, I'm just like, this This would make sense, right? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know that this has all been studied. I haven't seen that data, but like hormonally different responses to exercise, that would be plausible. Mm -hmm. Immune system effects as well. You know, there's there's so many, exercise is affecting the immune system. So we haven't even talked about like myokines. Like these are like, you know, these are molecules being secreted by our muscles. We talked about lactate. That's not a myokine. That's a, you know, it's a metabolite. But I mean, we're... Physical activity, when we force our muscles to work hard, we're making something called a myokine. Sometimes it's referred to as an exokine, but like this is, you know, this is irisin is one, IL-6 is another. Um, there's there's other ones as well, but like these, these are also affecting the brain and they're affecting cancer risk, right? Um, there may be differences in, in respect to like myokines that are being secreted uh, with, with respect to how, um, you know, the stress of exercise how, how that uh, response is happening.